Hey everybody, back again. Hope you're all doing well. Um, let me thank you in advance for checking out my video. Just starting out here on YouTube, so I appreciate everyone checking me out. So this is a sight and target that I shot. Um, I actually have a couple. I was trying some different weights, and uh, and I got my my rifle dialed in pretty well. I want to see if you can guess what I was shooting. Um, I've done some videos on the Hatsan Nova Star, but this is not from the Nova Star. Here's another sight and target that I was playing around with. Uh, look at all those bullseyes. Pretty freaking good, right, guys? So this is 25 yards. I should mention that. It's not, you know, I'm in my yard. I don't have a big yard. I have to make use of the space I have, and it's 25 yards. And that is me fence to fence. I shoot at the side of, side of my garage, and it's 25 yards, like, exactly. And so I'm happy to at least have that when I can't get out to the range and, and, and open up. So it's good for uh, good for testing out when you're messing with your uh, velocities and stuff like that. So anyhow, yeah, look at these little groups. I mean, whoop, cover it up with my thumb. So this is from last night. Um, anyway, I guess I should probably tell you what I was shooting. So this is not the Hatsan Nova Star. Let me start out. Let me show you the ammo I was using. This is a slug. See if you can see that. It's a flat bottom and a hollow point top. 25 caliber. And that is made by my friend Nick Nielsen. 37 grain, 25 cal, 200 count box. Nice little, nice little slug. Um, so I've been shooting that through this guy right here. This is my FX Crown synthetic. Uh, I actually got, this is a 25 caliber, but I actually, uh, I bought this and I bought the VP edition, so the value price edition. And before you say anything, um, the only difference between the value priced and the regular is the bottle. Um, as you can see though, this is not a aluminum bottle, a steel bottle. Um, so my thought was, uh, they now FX offers a 580 CC carbon fiber bottle and you cannot buy the crown with a 580 cc carbon fiber bottle you can buy the crown regular crown synthetic edition with the 500 cc bottle but not the 580. so i bought the value priced took the steel bottle off and added the 580 cc carbon fiber bottle and it cost me just about the same to do that as it would have been to buy this with a regular carbon fiber bottle. So now I have a crown with an upgraded carbon fiber bottle for the same price. So it actually worked out pretty well. And now I have an extra bottle too. If I want to fill a bottle up and bring it with me, I have two bottles that way. So, um, but I usually just bring my tank. When I go to the range, I bring my tank, but you know, maybe if I take it out in the woods or something hunting, I can bring that extra bottle, which will be nice. Um, anyhow, let me go back to my targets over here now that you know what I was shooting. So I think you guys, if you've watched any other videos on the FX Crown, probably know that the FX Crown comes dialed in for, and my particular model, the 25 grain uh, JSB pellets. Um, it's dialed in for that. Um, obviously, I bought that gun for shoot slugs, so I bought the slug liner. And I put that in, and, and then you, you have to change. I'm shooting heavier projectiles. So these are 37 grains. So that's uh, 25. So that's 12 more grains than what it's optimized for. And it's also a different shape projectile, but the slug liner takes care of that. So I increased my hammer spring tension. I maxed it out, and then I backed it off. Um, so by maxing it out, you can kind of keep track of how many turns you back it off so you can optimize yourself. Um, I watched another video of a guy. Uh, he's from Australia. He had like a nice, I think like 35-minute video on tuning the FX Crown, which was very helpful. Um, he actually gave his projectile weight, which was, I think, 33 grains. He was shooting the heavier Mark II JSBs through his. And um, 
So I was able to use his data to tune my gun without a chronograph, which is really cool. Um, I do have an order in for the FX pocket chronograph, which is pretty cool. I don't know if anybody, if you guys have checked it out. Um, it sits under the front of your gun and you don't have to, it has no wires. It's all just this little box and it sits under the front of your gun and it is awesome. And it links to your smartphone so you can keep track of your shot strings and it's it's really cool 200 bucks i've got my order in for one so i hope they come soon they're supposed to come next week so i'm pretty excited about that but in the meantime i've been playing around um so this is from last night i put my regulator pressure up to about 145 and i went about 10 turns back from max on the hammer spring maybe 12 turns back from max on the hammer spring all right and these are the groups i was getting i was really excited i mean those are little groups i mean sub moa i mean that's pretty sweet um i was pretty happy with that discount the flyers the flyers were uh uh when i was playing with the regulator and the spring tension i just wanted to I was shooting at the wall. I wasn't aiming, so um, discount the flyers there, and even that flyer. Um, so these little groups are are awesome, and and I didn't mention these are sixteen shot groups. That's sixteen shots through that spot. That's not five. That's not three. That's sixteen shots through those little spots. So I was pretty excited. So last night I was kind of chilling, and I watched another video from Matt Dubber. About him, he was talking about the difference between the FX X Crown and the and the older FX, or I'm sorry, the FX Impact and the new FX X Impact. He was talking about differences, and he happened to mention that he was uh, tuning his newer Impact, and he mentioned that he had his reg pressure at like 180, and he even went on to say that um, in one of his earlier videos, he um, only he recommended to people not to go above 150 and if you read the manual for the crown or the impact it says do not go above 150 you're going to damage your gun well he, matt mentioned that he had his set on 180 and i was like okay well i was scared to go past 145 and i was like you know what if he's got his on 180 and it's been performing well i think i can probably do 150 or even 160 and be okay so right now I've got my regulator pressure turned up to about 150 or 155 and I turned the hammer spring back towards max a couple of turns because I increased my regulator pressure and then I shot this this morning. Um, I think these are almost even a little better than last night. Again, this is 25 yards. Um, from what I've been hearing and seeing on YouTube about the slugs is they actually do better at longer range I'm happy with this at 25 yards. I mean, look at this. Through the same hole. I mean, this is awesome. So I can't wait to get it to the range and see what it does on longer longer distances. If I'm doing this at 25 yards and they supposedly do better at longer range, then I can't wait to get out and see what they do. Um, so I'm really excited about this gun. Um, I can't wait to to test it out at the range and then not only that it gets some rabbit hunting or some squirrel hunting or some pest birds um i'm pretty excited uh it's it's gonna be really cool some really good results and i don't even have a chronograph i don't know what this thing's shooting for feet per second i don't know i can't ca calculate the foot pounds if i don't know what my my uh feet per second is so once my chronograph comes in i can really find out what i'm shooting but Right now, it's singing. My rifle is singing. Um, it doesn't sound like I'm losing a lot of air. I mean, I've watched a couple videos on harmonic tuning of the uh, Crown and also the Impact, and it sounds like it's happy where it is. It, uh, I, I, I think I have the hammer spring and the, and the regulator pressure kind of balanced with each other, and, I mean, it really sounds good. Um, because I have the regulator pressure dialed up kind of high at that 155 mark, um, it obviously doesn't last as long. Um, it is nice to have the upgraded tank, um, so I'm pretty excited. Anyhow, um, I should mention that all my, aside from the rifle itself, um, the tank, I've got some extra magazines here, single shot tray. A lot of this stuff came from a guy named Ken Hicks. 
Um, he's Southern Precision Air Weapons. And his website is spaweapons.com. Um, he's been really great to deal with. Uh, he's a, a professional, um, nationally ranked shooter. He's a really great guy. Um, and he has, he, his website is geared towards a more serious air gunner, uh, PCPs, higher end PCPs, obviously FX. Um, I know he has air arm stuff. He has a lot of the, the big dog PCP stuff and, uh, check him out. Um, something I wanted to mention um, I ordered a extra magazine from him and it came in the mail yesterday and uh, I had forgotten about it because it, I, it was back ordered. So I had forgotten I had ordered it. I only waited a, a week or two for it. So it wasn't that long, but with the magazine, he actually included this cool sticker and this cool patch, which actually has a Velcro back. So you can, you can uh, mount that like on a hat or a jacket or something. And I just thought that was really cool. I know it's something simple. But to me, like on the other end, that meant a lot to me. Um, I always like getting stuff like this cool little, you know, swag or whatever. And I just think it's cool. Um, you know, a lot of websites, they, they have this kind of stuff and they want you to buy it. And it's like, I don't know. It's not the same when you have to pay money for someone else's swag. <laughs> it's cool when someone sends it to you for free. But it's on the other end, it's like... Um, you know, it would be like buying an FX Air Guns t-shirt or a Utah Air Guns t-shirt. If someone gave it to you, it's completely different from from um, buying it. Um, I think you know what I mean. So anyway, let's check out my rifle a little bit more here. So I've got a Donny FL Sumo moderator on here. And this thing is so quiet. The only thing you hear is that hitting the backstop and that is it. It is absolutely silent. And I love it. I can shoot it in my backyard, and it doesn't make a lot of noise. So it's kind of it's kind of nice in that aspect. Um, I've got the Athlon scope second focal plane on here with uh, Butler Creek caps. My only complaint about this scope is it did not come with caps. It came with like the bikini. Uh, I forget what they call that. The bikini with the rubber bands that go across and pops on there, and that's fine. But I like having the caps. Um, Especially if you're going to take this thing out in the woods, it's nice to be able to just keep the caps down. You're ready to shoot. You just pop them up and go. Um, keeps it protected. I did put a little um, cant level on top. Keep myself straight. It's just a cheapy one. It's a Lone Star. But it does the job. Tells me if I'm, tells me if I'm running straight or not, so that's nice. Um, or it tells me if I'm sitting level. Excuse me. Um, anyhow, this thing lives up to the hype. I'm sure you've watched other videos on the FX Crown. This thing is absolutely awesome. Um, I I have no complaints about this gun whatsoever. The adjustability of it is awesome. Um, it's really easy to adjust. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I really like it a lot. I bought this with the intention of shooting slugs. I put the slug liner in it. I never even shot a pellet through this gun. Um, I had the pellet liner. But my intentions were for slugs. My my uh, my Hatsan Nova Star is my pellet gun, and that shoots pellets very very well. I think I have two videos now on the Hatsan Nova Star, so um, it's awesome. It's just as nice as this, but it's made for pellets. And this, my friends, is set up for slugs. Um, I was thinking about getting the 30 cal set up for this. Um, they make a barrel kit. It's like 400 bucks. Um, but the, here's the thing, $400 for the barrel kit, they give you the, the, the shroud, the inner liner, and the, uh, what do you call this part right here, the pellet probe, and then, um, but then you still have to buy, if you want to shoot slugs, you have to buy the slug liner in 30 cal, and you have to buy 30 cal magazines. Um, so you're looking at like, so let's see, $400 for the barrel kit, $100 for the slug liner, you got $80 for a magazine. Uh, you're looking at almost $600 to make this a 30 cal slug shooter. Um, if I wanted to just make it 30 cal pellets, it would be $500. So here's my thing. If I'm going to invest that much money, I think I'm just going to buy another crown <laughs> and in 30 caliber. So my thought is, I don't know if any, any of you have seen this, but they have the yellow jacket crown that came out this year for their 20th anniversary um 
there's none in the store. I haven't seen any yet. I actually emailed Ken, and he says he's got a batch ordered, and he's hoping to see them sometime next week. Um, I know how FX is, so I don't have my hopes up, but I really want one of those um, yellow jacket crowns and 30 cal. I, I, I think it would be sweet. And that way there, too, I don't have to change it back over. If I'm going to invest $600, I might as well invest the other half of that. I know it's another, like, $1,000, but then I have a whole nother gun that's already set up in 30 cal, which I'm pretty would be pretty sweet. And that's a really cool synthetic uh, stock. I don't know if you've seen it. Check it out. It's awesome. So um, I think that's about all I got for you today. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts or any anything you want to share, just you know what to do down below. Um, thanks for watching my video, guys. And again, check out Ken Hicks. Awesome website spaweapons.com. Check them out. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching my video.